Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a new tutorial on modeling, texturing and lighting a restaurant in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So let's go into file, view image file. Let's open up a reference over here. So definitely simultaneously we'll be continuing with the tutorial on the reception area. So we are going to model this. So now let's first of all let's take a plane over here so we'll be just defining some of the area over here let's go to the top view go into AC extended take a wall over here and slightly we'll just extend this over here so convert to editable poly now after that again I'll go over here go into modeling and let's take one swift loop or else I'll select this edges and I'll give one connect to it now after that select this edges let's give two connects select the vertices slightly just shuffle this over here so I'll slightly just push it out so convert to editable poly select the vertices Now, shuffle it up, put one swift loop over here, so I will just assign one swift loop over here, again select this edges, let's give two connects. leave some space a bit again select this edges give connect we we'll leave some space so now over here I'll again select this edges I'll remove it I'll go into the vertices and just push this here select this again select the vertices now still we need to slightly shuffle this more up So let's select this area. So select this. Select this polygons. Like this. And slightly extrude it a bit out over here in this way so once you are done I have slightly extruded this area out after that
slightly still we can push this till here we can adjust this if required now let's again go to the top i'll go into this side view over here and let's take a box over here so let's just take a box i'll activate this auto grid till here so once you're done so convert to editable poly slightly shuffle it inside slightly just push this down over here and again i'll select this let's just save this once over here <coughs> and let's give some connects so select the vertices r and slightly scale this till here we'll keep some space between all of this again select this edges select the vertices again select this edges select the vertices so once you are done you can definitely raise the height if required that's totally okay so select this polygons uh before i go into this i'll put one loop select the polygons and let's extrude it till here so we'll put something on to the top now we'll create the window section over here so let's select this part select this polygons give a bit of inset and let's bridge it select this inset it and let's bridge it select this inset it again and let's bridge it so again i'll go into the side view over here and let's take a box over here select the vertices so adjust it accordingly so now 
I'll again go over here. Select this edges. Let's give connect. So again select this edges Let's give some connects select the vertices steer it from the top so once you are done select this all faces select this all faces give a bit of inset by polygons and let's give bevel click ok alright so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section so now what I'll do I'll just duplicate this if required I can just duplicate this stuff over here and just save the file once so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so we'll do few of the things the rest of the modeling part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial.